Hello. How y'all doing? <laughs> I'm outside, and I hope uh, the mosquitoes aren't out here, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, I want to talk about uh, some more mistakes that poor people make. Now, I made a video about that previously, if you had watched. Okay, but I'm going to talk about it again. Because I see the same thing over and over and over again. Because I'm out here in the real world. I'm not, in a, I'm not an isolated person. I'm out here in the real world. I see the poor people make the same mistakes over and over and over again. Uh, you know what? And I thought my generation would be the last generation that saw this extreme poverty. But I was wrong because I still see it. Number one, poor people have no common sense. Pray for common sense, y'all. They still will buy $3,000 worth of furniture even though they're making $8.85 an hour. Buy your furniture from the thrift shop. Okay? You buy your son or daughter a $400 jacket. You need to tell your children to deal with less, to make do with less. Teach your children that. Number two, young black males, you know, particularly those under 50, have very little to no common sense. I'm telling you what I know, y'all. <laughs> very little to no common sense. Um, if they get shot, they have no burial clothes, no life insurance. I think anyone over the age of 18 should have a life insurance because if something happens to you, you need to, you know, leave some money, at least your parents or your guardian so they can bury your butt okay compromise hygiene you know i i've heard complaints about the so-called project kids that they have a particular smell they have a particular project smell um ladies make sure your child has a shower every day make sure they they go to school with clean clothes okay wash the hair wash that they're gonna pick up all kinds of germs from other kids so wash those germs out of their hair every day okay uh, wash those ears. <laughs> you know, kids don't wash their ears enough, okay? Wash your ears, okay? Uh, as they say, as it has been said, water is free and soap is cheap, okay? There's no time to be lazy. You may have to get up at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, clean your house, figure out what other kind of piece of a job you can do. Go to the farmer's market, get those cheap vegetables, chop them up, freeze them, or can them. Um, buy you two or three rotisserie chickens every week. Chop them up, freeze them. That's enough uh, food for soup and casseroles, etc. Uh, get the Dollar Tree container. You can bake some bread, freeze that. Yeah, you need a freezer. Okay, I, I do advise you to invest in the freezer. Okay, number five, law abiding. You can be poor and be law abiding. Believe it or not, you can. You don't have to do all this illegal stuff. Okay? If you owe the doctors $275, call the doctor's office and try to agree to a payment plan. Don't just leave town without paying the doctor, okay? You can be honest, okay? If your children steal from 7-Eleven, go take that food back to 7-Eleven and make them pay triple whatever it costs, okay? Teach your children to be honest, okay? Don't borrow for any reason. I am not a fan of mortgages. However, if you have to to have a mortgage, uh, I recommend you put 50% down, okay, 50% down, um, and then try to pay that mortgage off in two or three years, um, side hustles, you know, transport people, braid hair canning, um, etc., a lot of side hustles you can do, uh, I'm in real estate and writing, okay, now six, don't, please don't show off your poverty, you know, you you showing to your relatives how poor you are. You showing them your your holy your shoes with holes in them. You tell them you got holes in your underwear. Don't tell them information like that. Try to look the best you can in front of relatives because that's not going to uh, help you get any money from relatives. If you think, okay, I'm going to show off my poverty to my relatives, they'll give me some money. No, they're going to shun you because your problems are too overwhelming. They're going to say, wait a minute, I got to buy her shoes. I got to buy her underwear curtains a shower curtain i can't do it can't do nothing about it so don't show off your poverty in front of uh people okay try to look the best you can look uh brush your teeth every morning brush or wash your face every morning get that earwax out of your ear make sure your hair is clean uh socks are clean etc Okay, number seven, try to live within your means. If you're on $8.85 an hour, that's your economy, okay? You got to live with it, okay? Um, 
Don't forget to save for yourself and save for your children. Okay, you can do it off of eight dollars and eighty-five cents an hour. Okay, five dollars a month. Okay. Now, as an aside, if you are selling illegal drugs, that is a continued cr criminal enterprise. I know <laughs> almost ninety-five percent of people do it. Okay, but um, actually, you know, the Mexicans, you know, uh, I know that's how they get their houses. That's how they get their restaurants. They take the drug money and, and buy a restaurant, take the drug money and buy a store or a car, a house. I know that, okay? Smuggling money, drug money. I know that. But they actually have the same kind of concentrated poverty that blacks have, okay? Concentrated poverty, welfare, food stamps, housing subsidies, okay? Illegal activity. They believe that is an economy. That is not economics, and they don't care about school either. The difference that the Koreans uh, get welfare, housing subsidies, food stamps, etc. The difference is that they save it, and the difference is that they try to keep, uh, make sure their children are doing well in school. So that's why their children become doctors and pharmacists, etc. So even though the parents are on welfare, and besides that, the Koreans tend to save all that welfare money so they can have a business someday. Uh, so the way uh, we manage the money is totally different. But um, you know, it's not an economics. Actually, sell, selling drugs, it's not economics. Uh, you know, I, I just heard about a 21-year-old selling drugs. He had a red Silverado and another fine car, a designer motorcycle. He busted, got busted with uh, several pounds of marijuana. And guess what? The Fed's going to take everything he has down to the cigarette light. They're going to take that Silverado truck. They're going to take the other car, and they're going to take... The designer motorcycle and all of his clothes <laughs> have a nice day <laughs> those are some mistakes that poor people make